Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just a quick little video on a few signing bonuses that I think are worth your attention here at the end of 2019. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Will. I go over travel reward credit cards to help you travel more for less. So consider hitting that little red subscribe button for more videos. Now, the first one that we're going to be looking at is the Hilton Honors Surpass card. So right now, until the end of 2019, 1231, 19, you can get 150,000 points once you spend $3,000 within the first three months, plus a $100 statement credit. So Hilton Honors points are worth about 0.5 cents per point. So that 150,000 points that you get with this bonus are going to be worth about $750 when you redeem them for your stay. So that is a pretty good return on your spend of that $3,000 definitely over 25% return. Now, in addition to that, that $100 statement credit will pretty much wipe off that annual fee of $95 that you had to pay in your first year. So essentially, you're going to be getting that 150,000 points at no cost to you besides putting that $3,000 worth of spend on your card. Now, the card itself is pretty good if you're someone that stays at Hilton um, often. You're gonna get 12 points back on eligible purchases at the hotel or resort that you stay with. You're gonna get six points back on US restaurants, US supermarkets, and US gas stations. And then you're gonna get three points back on everything else. So if you take into the consideration how much uh, those Hilton points are worth, pretty much you're gonna get six points back when you stayed at the uh, Hilton. You're gonna get 3% back on the US restaurants, US supermarkets, and US gas stations. And then 1.5% back on everything else. So not too bad with the spend categories there. And then you, in addition to that, the main other benefits are going to be complimentary gold status. So with gold stands with Hilton, you do get free breakfast at participating hotels, and you can get a weekend night reward if you spend $15,000 on your car in a calendar year. So that actually is worth it if you have that much spend to put on the card. I'm going to do a separate video going over that, but I can tell you right now, it is a pretty good return on your spend, about three to 4% return. The final big benefit that you get with this card are the 10 free visits that you get at Priority Pass airport lounges. So overall, I think this is a very solid offer. And the good thing with this card is that it does have a downgrade path. So after that first year, you don't want to pay that $95 for the annual fee. You can just downgrade it to the no annual Hilton Honors credit card and still keep the card on your credit history. The next card that we're looking at is the Barclays A Advantage Aviator Red World Elite MasterCard. So that is a mouthful. Now the signing bonus right now is 60,000 miles. That actually hasn't changed, but what's really good about this signing bonus is that you only have to make a purchase within the first three months. That's it. Make one purchase, go to the store, buy a pack of gum, and you're going to get that full signing bonus as long as you pay that annual fee within the first three months. Perfect, great return on your spend there. Now what's new about this uh, new uh, sign-up bonus is what's right here, and that is the introductory companion certificate. So normally you can only get that companion certificate if you put $20,000 worth of spend on your car in your anniversary year. Here, they're just gonna give it to you as part of the sign-up bonus. So that uh, companion certificate, it costs you $99 plus taxes and fees, and it can be used on domestic economy flights. Now, fortunately, you cannot use it to fly to Hawaii or Alaska, but if you are flying from one of those, originating from one of those states and flying into the continental US, that does work for the companion certificate. So pretty good value with this sign-up bonus here. Again, no minimum spend, just make a purchase and you're getting 60,000 miles plus a companion certificate. So great, great sign-up bonus. I'm not sure when this actually expires. It doesn't have any dates on here, but I was saying, you know, if you're looking at, if you're interested in this, don't wait too long to get it. All right. So now the card itself is pretty typical airline card, $99 annual fee. You'll get that first check bag for free, uh, preferred boarding. You'll get some credits for in-flight Wi-Fi, plus some discounts when you buy any food and drinks on the plane, all that type of stuff. You do have a world elite travel benefits here. And I kind of went over this in my city prestige card I just did over the hidden benefits. And one good benefit here is gonna be a $10 lift credit once you take five rides in a calendar month. So you can get up to $120 worth of value with this benefit here if you're someone that does lift a lot. So that's pretty much it with this card. Again, that bonus is really, really good. And it's something that I am definitely eyeing before the end of the year. The final cards that we're looking at are going to be the Amex Delta cards. All of them pretty much. They all have pretty good sign-up bonuses right now. So what you gotta know about the Amex cards is that beginning January 30th, 2020, all of the benefits are changing as well as increased annual fees on all of them. So I've done a video covering this and I'll link it up here. So be sure to check that out. But right now these sign-up bonuses are going to uh, expire the day before the new benefits and increased annual fees 
expires. So you may want to jump on this now because we're not sure what it's going to look like once the uh, changes are made in January. So right now the gold card is going to give you 60,000 miles once you spend uh, I think three or two thousand dollars within the first three months. Plus, you get a fifty dollars statement credit towards uh, any Delta purchases. And the good thing about the gold card is that it has no annual fee in your first year. So you can pretty much get that card, use it for the first year just for the points, and then you can downgrade it to that no annual fee blue Delta Sky Miles card that we have right here. So that is definitely a possibility with that. Uh, the Platinum card, 75,000 miles plus 5,000 MQMs and a $100 statement credit. You just gotta spend $3,000 within the first three months. Uh, the annual fee right now is 195 and that's going up to 250 in January. So just, that's the one I just got actually. So definitely wanted to take advantage of it and make sure I have to pay that higher annual fee. The Delta Reserve credit card is next. You get 75,000 miles plus 10,000 MQMs. You don't get a statement credit with this one. You just get more MQMs. So this one has a $450 annual fee and it is going up to $550. So again, check out the video I've done on these cards. Again, it's gonna be up here in the card. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you like these type of videos, give me some kind of heads up on some of these increased sign-up bonuses. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.